Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an amazing tutorial lined up for you, how to create a Trojan server and set it up on the Dark Tunnel app. This method will provide you with faster speeds and a more secure web connection. If you're interested in VPN updates and hidden tricks, make sure to check out our blog. And if you're new to our channel, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Let's get started. First, open your browser and search for the SSH Ocean website. In the search results, click the official link to reach the website's homepage. Once you're on the homepage, click the menu button in the upper right corner to expand the list of options. From the list, select Services, and a new window will pop up. At the top of the SSH server list, click on Trojan. A new page displaying various server locations will open. Choose your desired location from the list. Make sure the server you select is available and online. Once you've made your selection, click the Create button. Now you'll reach the final page. Enter your desired username, fill out the reCAPTCHA, and then click the Create Now button. In just a few seconds, your server account will be ready to use. Be sure to copy either the Trojan TCP, Trojan WS, or Trojan GRPC link, whichever one you prefer, for future use. Now, Let's move on to setting up your Trojan server on the Dark Tunnel app. First, ensure you have the latest version of the Dark Tunnel VPN app installed. Head over to the Play Store, search for Dark Tunnel, and install it if you haven't already. Once the app is installed, open it. On the home page of the app, click the three dots in the upper right corner to open the menu list. Then, click on the tunnel type arrow. From the list that appears, select Trojan. A small window will open. There are two ways to set up the Trojan server in Dark Tunnel. The first method is to manually add the server details in the required fields of the small window. The second and easiest way is to use the import function. To do this, click the three dots in the upper right corner again to return to the main menu list. Click on Config and a small window will pop up. Then click on Import. Make sure you've copied the server link from earlier before clicking Clipboard your Trojan server will automatically be added. Once the server is added, click the Connect button to secure your web connection. If this tutorial helped you, please consider subscribing to our channel to support us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.